to the edge of the sword, his wife, his babes, and all unfortunate souls that trace him in his line. No boasting like a fool. This deed I'll do before this purpose cool. The good Macduff must have had his reasons. What had he done to make him fly the land? You must have patience, madam. He had none. His flight was madness. When our actions do not, our fears do make us traitors. You know not whether it was his wisdom or his fear. Wisdom. To leave his wife. To leave his babes, his mansion, and his titles in a place from whence himself does fly? He loves us not. He lacks the natural touch. For the poor wren, the most diminutive of birds, will fight her young ones in her nest against the owl. All is the fear, and nothing is the love. As little is the wisdom, where the flight so runs against all reason. My dearest cuz, I pray you school yourself, but for your husband he is noble, wise, judicious, and best knows the fits of the season. I dare not speak much further, but cruel are the times when we are traitors and do not know ourselves. When we hold rumor from what we fear, yet know not what we fear. I take my leave of you. Shall not be long, but I'll be here again. My pretty cousin, blessing upon you. Fathered he is, and yet he's fatherless. Sirrah, your father's dead. And what will you do now? How will you live? As birds do, mother. What, with worms and flies? With what I get on me, and so do they. Poor bird. Thou'st never fear the net nor trap, the pitfall nor the snare. Why should I, mother? My father's not dead for all you're saying. Yes, he is dead. How will I do for a father? Nay, how will you do for a husband? Why? I can buy me 20 at any market. <laughs> was my father a traitor, mother? Aye, that he was. What is a traitor? Why, one that swears and lies. And for all that do so traitors? Every one that does so is a traitor and must be hanged. And must they all be hanged that swear and lie? Every one. And who must hang them? Why, the honest men. Then the liars and swearers are fools. For there are liars and swearers enough to beat the honest men and hang up them. <laughs> God help thee, poor monkey. But how will thou do for a father? If he were dead, you'd weep for him. If you not, it were a good sign that I should quickly have a new father. <laughs> poor Prattler, how thou talkst. Bless you, fair dame, to you and not known. I fear some danger does approach you nearly. You will take a holy man's advice, be not found here, hence with your little ones. But to fright you thus, methinks I am too savage. To do worse for you with foul cruelty, which is too nigh your person. Heavens preserve you, I hear abide no longer. Whither should I fly? I have done no harm. But I remember now, I am in this earthly world where to do harm is all but laudable. To do good is sometimes accounted dangerous folly. Why then, alas, do I put forth that womanly defense to say I have done no harm? What are these faces? Where's your husband? I hope in no place so unsanctified where such as thou mayst find him. He's a traitor! Lies, villain! What? You egg! Ho ho! Young, bride, treachery! <laughs> Run away, mother! I. Are you. Oh, my God. 